The V2 or Vengeance Weapon 2 was the world's first long-range guided ballistic missile. It was powered by a liquid propellant rocket engine and assigned to attack Allied cities as retaliation for the Allied bombings of German cities. The V2 rocket also became the first artificial object to travel into space by crossing the edge of space with the vertical launch on the 20th of June 1944. From September of 1944, more than 3,000 V-2 rockets were launched against Allied targets, first London, later Antwerp, then Liege. In the early 1940s, Werner von Braun's team studied the evolution of the V-2 into a manned rocket plane. This version would have used wings to extend the range of the basic V-2 from 250 km to 550 km. This boost glide concept was not strictly a spacecraft, it would only reach an altitude of 30 km before leveling out for a sustained supersonic glide at 20 km. Such a supersonic aircraft had never been flown and presented many aerodynamic and engineering problems in 1943. Further refinement of the design was halted in 1943 when von Braun's team was directed to devote itself completely to getting the V2 into production. Von Braun managed to keep some detailed design work going under the radar by designating the A4B, so basically a classified modification of the original A4 or V2 rocket. In the fall of 1944, with the V2 batteries being pushed back by Allied advances beyond range of Britain, a crash program was ordered to complete the A4B. Von Braun was able to complete 10 A4B airframes by October of 1944, but component and propellant shortages delayed flight test. The first launch attempt came in December of 1944. The steering failed at 30 meters altitude and the missile crashed a short distance from the pad. By this time, Approximately 300 engineers were working on the A4B, but supply chain chaos was holding them back. The second and final launch attempt was on the 24th of January 1945. It then flew stably in supersonic flight, however the wing broke off shortly after the beginning of the glide. This concluded work on the A4B and increasingly chaotic situation in Germany prevented further flight tests until the end of the war. But in the 1990s a theory became popular that these last A4B test in January was said to be a manned flight. It was said that a Luftwaffe pilot a certain Magnus Schröder was abroad and that when the aircraft failed he committed suicide biting into an arsenic capsule and crashing into the North Atlantic. This was all nonsense. In this mythology Schröder became the first man in space, but there is no evidence that any of this is true. However, after the war, an idea of putting a man atop a V-2 in order to reach space was advocated in the Soviet Union. In October of 1947, a small group of German scientists in the Soviet Union 
in launching a rebuilt V2 in Capuzin Yar. The German team was indirectly overseen by Sergei Korovlev, one of the leaders of the Soviet rocket program. Kapuzin Yar was a Soviet rocket launch complex in the Astrakhan Oblast. It was established in May of 1946. In the beginning, Kapustin Yar used technology, material and scientific support gained from the defeat of Germany in World War II. The first Soviet missile was the R-1, a duplicate of the V-2 manufactured completely in the Soviet Union, which was launched first in October of 1948. From 1948 until the end of 1950, the German team elaborated concepts and improvements for extended payload and range. The German team had to remain until as late as 1953 in the Soviet Union. In parallel, Soviet work emphasized larger missiles, the R-2 and R-5, based on further developing the V-2 technology with using ideas of the German concept studies. Details of the Soviet achievements were unknown to the German team and completely underestimated by Western intelligence until in November of 1957 the satellite Sputnik 1 was launched successfully to orbit by the Sputnik rocket based on the R-7, the world's first intercontinental ballistic missile. I hope you enjoyed this episode and to make sure you don't miss my future work, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel and press the bell notification button. Thank you and see you in the next video.